Vroom, vroom. That's the sound of a dragon wing flapping. Vroom, vroom. That's the sound of nude titties on the dragon flapping in the wind. Uh, uh, all joking aside, what's up everyone? Welcome to Sir Hunt's Reviews. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a leaked, and that's in air quotations there, image that uh, I found while perusing Instagram. Now remember, these types of videos are mostly based on leaks that could be complete bullshit, but they do something in satisfying our urge and our need and our, and our craving for more information about House of the Dragon. Uh, before we jump into any of that, please do me two massive favors. Slap a like on this video as the like goal is going to be 420. <laughs> Also, make sure you're subscribed, and this is the most important part. Make sure every notification is turned all the way on, so you'll get an alert every single time I drop a video throughout the wait for House of the Dragon Season 1, or this massive universe that is going to be built around A Song of Ice and Fire, or as it's referred to on this channel, Blow Not! Now, all right, this video is just a few minutes, so let's jump right into these juicy, delicious leaks. But th this comes from an account on Instagram that has been called out for being complete bullshit. And uh, that's real.matt.smith.official or something nonsensical like that. You can see it up here on the screen. But this person claims to be Matt Smith, and they have not been verified on Instagram. The people they follow are actors and actresses that are associated with House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones, HBO, and Matt Smith's prior work. But there's suspiciously one account that that's a stan account that's followed by this account, and that's what makes me think that, you know, that it's, 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 it's pretty fucking obvious. But the pictures that I'm referring to, as you can see right here, are actually a quick Google image search will show you that they were tweeted by someone that I follow on Twitter. Speaking of which, make sure you go follow me at Sir underscore Hunts, but this is a concept artist who has done many of the amazing, spectacular images for Game of Thrones Season 7 and Game of Thrones Season 8. I'm, of course, referring to Kieran Belshaw. Uh, the reason why I didn't notice uh, and why I didn't retweet these images is because the day that he tweeted them was actually the day that my son was born. So I was literally in the hospital watching my son be born when this was tweeted at the time. Usually, if you do follow me on Twitter and there's some House of the Dragon shit that comes out, whether it be rumors, leaks, anything like that that I haven't personally made a video on yet, I'll retweet it there first. So make sure you go follow me, like I said. But this Instagram account has been called out for being complete fake bullshit before. Uh, and it was something very similar along the lines of them claiming to be arriving on set for the first day and like Matt Smith had been, you know, shown up there, I guess, for fittings and dressings. Now, uh, as a side note, obviously that's complete bullshit. I just showed you, you know, more images. But as a side note, one thing that should be noted is that Olivia Cook, who's going to be playing Alicent Hightower in House of the Dragon, she has done an interview recently where she mentions that basically she has not filmed anything yet, but she's had some fabric draped over her. Now, that's obviously what HBO and what uh, Ryan Condal and S Miguel Sapochnik specifically told her was safe to say was that she's had fat fabric draped on her but i'm pretty sure there's been some preliminary shootings there's been some costume fittings that's what she means when she says fabrics draped over her so i'm pretty sure whoever the costume designer is for this new series is going to start releasing some images that will show you either that they're working on a new project or just something in the lines of it'll be bright green or red and black and it'll be something significant uh towards house of the dragon that we'd easily be able to look at and be like oh shit this is definitely from the new series and these costumes are very reminiscent of Game of Thrones, but they also look a little bit better. Hopefully. I'm hoping that's my reaction. Now, just a couple more things I want to mention before I get the fuck out of here. One of them is that Michelle Clapton is the Game of Thrones costume designer, and I'm pretty sure she's going to be working on House of the Dragon. Uh, she is part of what made Game of Thrones, and her costumes, rather are what made Game of Thrones feel so real. The fact that they put so much time and effort into making, like, uh, I don't know, I mean, to use some words I'm not familiar with, but couture gowns and, and all these f insane types of fabrics that made the characters look like they were from the real medieval times and not some shitty, mediocre-looking, low-budget fan film or something. She's part of the reason why Game of Thrones worked the way it did and really drew you into that universe and made you feel like you escaped into a land that either previously existed or is just something all new yet feels vaguely familiar because they look a lot like these renaissance pictures that we see in real life now lastly the last thing i want to mention in this video rather uh make sure you go follow kieran bell show on twitter as well as me and that's at sir underscore hunts underscore reviews or dragon daddy for short but a lot of what kieran bell has done really just is 
amazing. The fact that he's doing these images and he mentions that, you know, this is basically fan art because he's not been commissioned to do this work and he hasn't really been brought on for House of the Dragon. I think he's showing us what their armor should look like. Prince Daemon is one of the the greatest Targaryens of all time. Argue me down in the motherfucking comments section, but he's basically, if you took Oberyn Martell, masked him with Jaime Lannister, and then sprinkled a little bit of Tyrion on top. But it, the, the fact that Daenerys never wore armor in the show, we know House of the Dragon is coming out, it's gonna start filming in a few months, and this guy is famous for dra designing, like, the look of Dragonstone, the look of Daenerys' final speech in the final episode. This is, this is, this is, to me, practice. He's teasing everybody. I know he says that he's not necessarily working on it, but this is a lot of what, in my opinion, this has a lot of hope. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know what the fuck to say right now, but basically, this, in my opinion, is going to be something similar to what we see on screen. Whether they hire Kieran Belshaw or not to do these graphic designs and give the people who are actually making these costumes inspiration on what they should look like, but I do know that this is something what we're gonna see on screen. Well, all right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could please do me those two massive favors, the first one being slap a like on this video as so like goals <laughs> 420. <laughs> get it? Also, make sure you're subscribed. That's the most important part. If you've already subscribed and slapped a like, make sure you turn your notifications all the way on. So that way, you'll get a little thing called an alert every single time I drop a video throughout this long night. Super special shout out to every single member of my Patreon family who you see listed right here. And a super special shout out to you. Yeah, that's right. You. You're the one watching the video. Thank you all so, so much. My name's Mark and this has been Thrones. Long night. I got a baby, y'all. Reviews.